stop selling, start closing. This is the idea of the whisper versus the scream. When you whisper, people lean in. And when you scream, people tend to pull back. We're very accustomed to being sold to, so our defense goes up really fast. When you say it, you're selling. This is good, this is great, you need this. When they say it, you're closing. This is the whisper. A good salesperson first seeks to understand the true nature of a customer's problem, and only then offers a solution. This is the difference. I do not go into a room assuming I have something that you need. I want to understand what the problem is so that you can understand that. Then and only then can I provide something of value to you. Okay guys, so what do I really mean when I say, when we say we're selling and when they say we're closing? What are some examples of how to whisper in the buy-sell cycle with a client? Well, the first thing you should do is not make it about you. Make it about the client. Ask them questions about what kind of challenges they're trying to solve. What kind of goals are they trying to hit? Learn about their problems. And what you're doing is when you're asking questions, you allow them to kind of look inward and figure out what's going on. The thing that you want to do is stay in the diagnostic phase for as long as possible. If you go to see a doctor and they're quick to prescribe a solution for you, take two pills and call me in the morning, but you haven't had a chance to even tell the doctor what the symptoms are. Now imagine a whole different scenario where the doctor spends all the time talking to you about stress that's in your life, your diet, your family history, things that are happening at work, personal stuff, and they're really getting to understand who you are and what makes you unique. And then they say, you know what, I was going to prescribe two pills, but instead, I really think you need to take three days off of work and do some self-reflection. And that's the root cause of the problem. Now the solution, the prescription, if you will, has real meaning to you because the doctor spent time to learn about you. So this is what we want to do in consultative selling. We want to ask lots of questions. So even when the client comes to you and says, I need a new website or our branding doesn't look good, that's not enough for you to go off and do your job. You should say, wait a minute, let me try and understand What's driving the decision to make something new? Why do you need a new website? Well, our sales are down or we're not doing a great job of delivering a great customer experience. And then if you keep asking why and you keep digging deeper and deeper, you're gonna to start to find out perhaps the solution isn't what they came in for, but it's something totally different. Another way of whispering is to act and talk as if you don't need the work. Don't show up with an agenda, show up empty. Be water, as they say with Bruce Lee, just take whatever form the conversation goes in. I'm not here to sell, I'm not here to persuade. All I wanna do is advise you to the best of my ability to help you. That's another great way to listen. And what Blair Enns says is to try to kill the engagement three times by saying, this might not be a good fit for me, the budget might not be right, and I'm not sure my schedule can accommodate what we're talking about. Each time, you're subconsciously telling the client, I don't need the work, let me see if I can help. And that's it. When you give up control, that is when you gain it. When you stop trying to be smart is when you're smart. And when you stop selling, you close. You guys know if you've done it correctly, when you start to hear the words that you want to say coming out of their lips. So when they say, Chris, we don't need a website, we need to rethink our whole communication platform, or we need to design a different customer service experience, can you please help us? That is them saying it, and now you're not selling, you are closing. A, B, C. A, always, B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing.